Show me your true form. Yo, what's going on YouTube? AJ here. How y'all doing today? I'm back with another video. And as you guys can see, I'm all cleaned up. Finally. We well, got the beard. The beard's gone. We got the whole goatee and stash on. Eyebrows on fleek. Everything. <laughs> but that's not what this video is all about. But I just can't get over finally getting this whole thing cut off, man. Because this is uncomfortable. Anyway, that's the title of just. This is a little GameStop haul unboxing. So I just got back from GameStop. Let's see. Got the bag right here. And... I decided to do myself a little shopping on some things I had had. So, if you guys haven't seen my unboxing where I unboxed the rest of the Black Friday sales I got and all, you guys can check that out. I got some pretty good stuff. I got the Incineroar Amiibo, the Piranha Plant Amiibo, and the Hero Amiibo. And I got three new games, Luigi Mansion 3, Super Mario Odyssey, and Splatoon uh, 2. So, I've been playing those a bit off camera. Right, and I really enjoy them. So there's going to be at least a gameplay video going up for each of the games. I mean, it's not going to be a walkthrough. It's just going to be at least a gameplay or two. So you guys will be seeing that in the future. Probably like once we get into 2021. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and unbox a couple things. Now, the first thing I did when I go into GameStop... I always look at the Amiibos because I am still trying to build up my collection and despite that when I get Smash Amiibos, I still get other Amiibos too. Now, I got pretty lucky because one of the, I actually got a whole pack of Amiibos, so I'm trying to take them all out. And the cool thing is that two of these, two of them were still like that GameStop though. And then they just bought out this other one, which is pretty perfect since I got the game. So we got the split, original Splatoon, Inkling Girl, Inkling Boy, and the Squid Amiibo. We got that. And we got Yoshi's Woolly World, Light Blue Yoshi, yarn, uh, Light Blue Yarn Yoshi, which is actually my favorite color Yoshi right here. And I really can't wait to open this because I really like these. I remember seeing them and I so wanted it so badly. The pink one was there, but I had to go with that light blue. Because if you guys don't know, light blue Yoshi is my all-time favorite Yoshi. And I just had to get it. And this one I'm really happy to get. Now, I don't have the game for this Amiibo. But I sure as hell love, this, love how this Amiibo looks. The way it looks is the biggest reason. And that's... Link's Awakening Link Amiibo. I remember when I first saw this Amiibo, he looked just so bomb. With that whole shine ad and everything, it just looks so amazing. Now, like I said, I don't have Link's Awakening, unfortunately. So I can't really like use the Amiibo for whatever is in the game. But despite, I think this will register as a Link in Smash Brothers. So if so, I'll be doing some training with that. Okay. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and unbox these things though. Now I got another item, but I'll do that afterwards. So first, let's actually get the link one over with. So just gonna move the stuff out the way. Now I actually was gonna get a new game. And I seen some good ones, you know, about under 50 and all like that. But the thing is, I thought to myself, wait. I still, I have those three games I just brought, and I haven't fully completed them yet. So my biggest thing is that if you're going to get a new game, you want to complete the games you have first. I mean, even if you get it, you get it. But then my biggest thing I now said, I want to get that game complete first before I go getting another one. I mean, even if it's under $50 and it's pre-owned, it's best just to wait. Uh, all right, guys, I apologize. I had a little call I had to go and, and just take so I'm gonna get back to this unboxing so we're gonna unbox the Link's Awakening Link Amiibo like I said I really love this Amiibo when I first saw it he just I said right away I need him and also the game too now I seen the game but then I was like you know what I'm gonna wait till I at least finish 
a couple of the games I got, and then, you know, I'll get a new one. But then, uh, so like always, I always keep these just, you know, for the heck of it. I mean, I know it looks messy, but I don't care. One thing I remember about Amiibo unboxing is how some YouTube, well, not some of them, but I remember one of my favorite YouTubers would unbox them by just going crazy. But me, I calmly just take these out because I'm not trying to break one or nothing. Alright, and there we go. Put this on the side. And look at Look at this, yo. Look. He looks so badass. Look at that with that shine and everything. The shine on his shirt, his hat, on the sh uh, on the shield, everything. Bruh, I would get I would get one of those display cases just so I can leave this guy on display. And you know what? I might do that. But yeah, I, but this is definitely one of my all-time favorite amiibos. I just love the way it looks, though. It really looks so amazing. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and unbox the light blue yarn Yoshi. Now this is the first yarn Yoshi and me I unbox. There's actually four of them. Uh, there's the light blue, of course. There's the pink, which was also there, but I decided, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna get my favorite color one. And then there's the default green one. Now there's also a mega yarn Yoshi amiibo, which is like, uh. It's about like this big, if from what I remember. So I also want to get that too. Oh my god, I'm just like I'm feeling this. This feels so soft and all. God, I think I gotta cut some, some parts. So, alright, gotta go ahead and keep this. And he looks at something. Uh huh. Got my box. Okay, I got my box cutter here, so I'm just gonna carefully get this opening. Be careful not to hit, like not uh, do nothing. I don't think I needed this. <sighs> this is very awkward, but it's unboxing. This is unboxing. Awkward. Dropping him. And there he is. He feels so he's all small and all, all soft and everything. I'd carry I'd carry this thing around. But I'm not like that though. But look at him. Come on, you can't tell me this is so cute, y'all. You got you guys can't tell me this is cute. Young Yoshi man. Yoshi's cute in general and he's just so adorable here. Actually he does have this little thing. I can connect him to like a key ring and all. And if you're wondering where to scan him, just scan him right there. So, I think if I'm correct, actually, wait, I think, hold on. Yeah, I think Nathaniel, who did an amiibo video on what amiibos would do in Smash Ultimate, I think this one will scan as Yoshi. It should be. So, if so, then we'll be good. We'll be training another Yoshi amiibo. Because I got the regular Smash one, and I got the regular uh, Link Amiibo, so this will be number two. And last but not least, we got the whole Splatoon set, Inkling Girl, Inkling Boy, and the Squid. Now, for Splatoon, these actually would get you gear. Now, I, now the cool thing about this is that before Inkling, before the Inklings came to Smash Brothers as a fighter, these Amiibos were, you know, something to use in the original Splatoon game for the Wii U. And they would get you gear. But now that Inklings are in Smash, these two, the Inkling girl and boy, will scan as an Inkling. And also, even though there's an original Smash Amiibo for it, you can just get these because these are about $10. Well, if you just buy just the Inkling girl and the Inkling boy, you just get them for, for about $10 instead of paying a whole like $30 like I did. And you know what? And I think the squid also was scanned as an Amiibo too. If I'm correct, I'm not sure, but there is a video Nathaniel uh, 
Braddy or Brody. I don't know if I said his name right. But he did a video, like I said, on what Amiibos would do in Smash Ultimate. Like, what would the Yoshi Amiibo do? What would the Super Mario Amiibo do? The Zelda Amiibo? You know, like that. So, you guys can also check that out. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. Now, this is a triple set, so... I'm obviously going to try to, like, not mess this background up. Because I do want to keep it. Alright. Okay. Not bad. Like I said, I don't care how it looks. I always like games I like. I start, I, I just like liking them. Now, I've actually been wanting to get an Inkling Amiibo, because I actually liked the Inklings a lot. They were one of the first characters I first started off in Smash Ultimate, though, when I, when I first played it. And right away, I said, I'm happy as hell, though. Alright. So. Okay. And you guys, feeling the Amiibo, once you, once you just get the Amiibo, somehow it has such a good feel when you just, like, get it and all like that. And also, you know what's crazy? It smells just like paint. Like the packaging actually smells like paint though. Which is pretty cool since you know it's all about splattering paint and ink and all like that. So we got all three of them. Here's the Inkling Girl. Now the Inkling Girl actually, there was a solo one at that GameStop. I could have got her for just $10. But I wanted to train all of them so why not? So this Stankling Girl, the coolest detail I really like is the added splat ink on the base. It's really good. Alright, so that's Inkling Girl. Right here. Here's the squid, obviously. Squid, just you know, simple. Got the green ink around the base and all. I think, like I said, I think this one was scanned as an amiibo in Smash. But we'll see once we register these guys in, which you know what? I think I'll do that. So, you know, after we finish this, we'll switch to Smash and we'll register these guys in. And then here we have Inkling Boy, who also, like Inkling Girl, will come in like $10 solo. He wasn't there solo, but I've seen him there before. And got the blue ink right on the base. This looks amazing, man. Between this one... I honestly would say this Inkling Girl, the Splatoon version, is better than the Ultimate version. Which is very awkward to say, but then it just looks a bit better. Alright, so we can go ahead and register these guys in. But actually, there is one more thing I did buy. And this is actually something I really like. And that is... A new hat. And it's a Bowser one on his coupe, on his coupe clown car. This one, I first, now, one thing to say, I actually, this is actually my second green hat. And I said I needed a green hat just to, you know, at least just for the heck of it. And I didn't care if it was Zelda or whatever. But I got lucky to see this thing, though. It's black, it's green. This can match with anything. And also, I just like the whole Bowser on here. It looks so awesome. His name's also on the back, too. And another cool thing I just, I also noticed, if, you can, if I can focus it, he's on the brim right here. He's right there on the brim. So I was also checking out the hats, too, and I see some good ones. And as much as me, I'm a snapback slash cap slash strap. I'm more of a snapback type of guy. So I got this for about $19. Also to say, I actually, when I got the Link's Awakening and the Splatoon Amiibo, I actually was able to get Light Blue Yarn Yoshi for free. So there was like a little price sale where I got Light Blue Yarn Yoshi for free. So I got lucky there. Yeah, this is the Bowser hat. i gonna try this on. I'll actually take this part out. Switch hats. Alright, right there. Ah, look at that. I totally will wear this. This Well, next time I go to work, I will definitely wear this, though. I can't wear it during work, but I'll wear it to work. I really like this, man. This will match so well if I was wearing a green outfit with black pants or, you know, anything green and black. 
Like, this is my second green hat, though. The first one I had was an Eagles hat, but I don't know what happened to it. But I would say this is about my... I would say this is my fifth gamer hat right here. So this is my fifth one. The last one I got was obviously this one, which I got about two years ago. And it's still one of my favorites because of the well detail of it with the whole Ape and Mario and, and the Bowser and everything. This is one of my favorite hats. In fact, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see my hat collection because I got a lot of hats. That's so, so I might do that in a separate video. Anywho. That was my little GameStop haul right there. Got a new hat. Got a Link Amiibo. Got the Link Amiibo. Got the Light Blue Yarn Yoshi. Got both the Inklings along with Squid. So, this was a good haul right here. Now, I would have gotten a game. Because I seen a game that's like at least under $20. I would have gotten it. But then I was like, nah. Because let me say this. If you're going to get a new game, think carefully first. Because then... You don't know if you're going to stop playing some of your games you have. Because, like, for me, that Spongebob uh, game, I forgot what it's called again. But I brought it back in July, and I haven't played it since then, which is crazy. So, like, I got to get back to playing that one. So, I said until I finish that game or Luigi's Mansion 3, Super Mario Odyssey, and Sortoon 2, I got to just at least finish those games before I go and get another new game. Because then when you just get a new game, you forget about the game. And then next thing you know, you don't feel like playing it. So yeah, that's something I'm going to just wait for. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch to Smash Brothers. Where we're going to register these guys in. So I'll see you once we get to it. Alright guys, so I loaded up the game. And now we're going to go ahead and register these guys in. So we're going to start with the Link Amiibo. Now... I haven't even decided a name for this amiibo. Now I got a Link amiibo. His name is not Zelda. No, literally, his name is not Zelda. Like I actually named it not Zelda, just you know, for like the joke and all. Cause everybody keeps we call everybody calls Link Zelda, and it triggers a lot of people. Even I get trigger at times. But, you know, I put it as a joke nickname. Now. When I said I was going to get the Link Amiibos, there's a lot of them, including the rest of the wild ones. And I literally said I was going to name it after that type of Link. So, for this, I'm not sure what I would name this one. So, I thought... Okay, so I thought for this Amiibo, I might call this one... Let me see. Because here's the idea. There's a Twilight Princess Link Amiibo. And then there's a Skyward. Uh, Skyward. And an Ocarina of Time. I was going to literally name it after those games. Like Twilight. Twilight. Uh, Skyward. Skyward. Ocarina. Ocarina. Now since this one is an Awakening Amiibo. I actually might just go with the name Awakening. Just you know. Why not? I, mean, I can't think of no other names, but I could go with Dark Link simply just because, you know, what else can I really name it, though? And I know, yes, this is simple, but oh well. Now, I did have a Fierce Link Amiibo. That I, now, I actually do have another Link Amiibo, but the thing is, I don't use this one because this one broke. The head came off. So this one's just like in the back and I don't really use it. And I could name this link after that one, but then I'm not gonna do it. So this one's just gonna be the Dark Link. And obviously with the name Dark Link, that means Dark Link costume. Oh, and this one put him as an this one put him in his original outfit. Alright. Oh, and the Zelda one's in this costume, so since this is Darkling, I'm gonna go with Darkling. Alright. So we're not gonna train him yet, but there will be a video where I train him, you know. So that will be like 
either tonight or tomorrow, whatsoever. Just stay tuned for when I do the training for this guy. Alright. And next is the likely Yarn Yoshi Amiibo. Now, my regular Yoshi Amiibo, I named him Homie Yosh, since Dashi, you know, Yoshi's Dashi's homie, and he always says, the Homie Yosh. So, I decided to name it that because of that, and also, Yoshi's my homie too, I love Yoshi. Now, since this is the light blue Yoshi, I might just be so simple and just go light blue Yoshi and all like that. Okay, and it read it though. Because it's funny because the scanning is right under. It's right on his butt. Right under his butt. So, it's kind of funny. Let me see. Uh, if I just simply went light blue, I mean. Like I said, I will be simple though. Yeah, it's not gonna fit though. This is like the, all I can just put in. Light blue. You, that's all I can put. I mean, I might have a different nickname in the future, but for right now, I'm just gonna go with this. And the great thing is, I'm scanning it with the Switch Pro controller. So at least it was able to like fit well. And also, it showed up as Yoshi, the regular one. But since this is light blue, light blue color. In fact, I just thought of what I could nickname this Yoshi Mabo. So, I will show y'all, like, probably in, like, the next video. Yeah, yeah it's likely Yoshi. Alright, so next we got is the Inklings. Now, right away, I kind of, I actually have an idea on what I was going to name the female inkling. Hmm. Alright, so this one's the inkling girl. And the nickname I'm going to give this one, I've said it like first thing first once I got, once I seen uh, the amiibo. If some of y'all played Splatoon, you would obviously know what this one's going to be. Yep, Agent 3. And the costume's obviously going to be Agent 3, which is the yellow one. And seriously, Inkling has the best cop one of the best costumes, though. Seriously. Like, there's no beating that, though. Alright. Agent 3, that's what the costume's based off of. Ten of y'all don't know that. And this obviously is one of my favorite costumes. Right, so next is the Inkling Boy. Alright, so for him... Um... I'm gonna go with... I'm not gonna go like in order by the costumes, but I did say this nickname name pretty first. Or should I, or should I go with the other one? Actually, you know what? I will go with the one I was thinking of. So Noah. Not based off no one, but this costume kind of makes it. This costume I'm going to choose for this one makes me think his name is Noah, and that's this one right here. Yep, so Noah. Thank you, Amiibo. This, this definitely is one of the coolest costumes. Like I said, Inkling has one of the greatest costumes. Alright, so last but not least, we got the regular squid. And I think this one, I think if I remember, this one stands as an amiibo. I mean, as an actual inkling fighter. It looks like it does. So, this one. I'm not sure what this one can go. 
Let's see, uh, the nickname, this one be, mm, it's a tiny Okay, so I just thought this through, and you know what? I was gonna wait till I get the original Smash Amiibo to name this one, but now it doesn't really matter. And this one is pretty obvious. If you played Persona 5, you guys know who Futaba is. And crazy enough, that's how she looks just like the default orange inkling. Orange hair, exact same outfit though, which is crazy. So yeah, this one's gonna be based on Futaba from uh, Persona 5, so yeah. Now, I would do a separate video where I would train these guys, so that's something you guys will look out for. I really can't wait to train them. This is five Amiibo I'm training, and I actually really like Amiibo training. I watch a lot of Amiibo training vids. They're fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're fun to watch and all, but it's also fun to train them yourself. Now, when I got Incineroar and Hero and Piranha Plant, I didn't have a, I didn't show a video, video of them, of me training them and all, but they are training level 50, and I am going to show you guys a gameplay video on how they are, like, you know, me against them, them against my you know, best amiibo, you guys will also see that too. But anyway, coming up, I will be training one of these amiibo first, and I will be starting off with one of the Inkling amiibo, and that will be the regular, the regular Inkling girl. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing and registration, smash that like button and also comment. What did you guys nickname your Amiibos? Uh, do you got the Link's Awakening Amiibo? The Light Blue Yarn Yoshi? The whole Splatoon 3 set Inkling Girl, Boy, and the Squid? Let me know down in the comments what you named yours. Uh, yeah, that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys want to check out my other unboxings, you can click on the playlist. The link will be in the description. So, and next video, like I said, I'll be training one of these amiibos up. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, and have an awesome night. Stay safe.